sudo apt update or sudo apt upgrade or both. In today's video, you will learn what does sudo apt update command do, what does sudo apt upgrade command do, what's the difference between the two and how are they used to actually update your Ubuntu or Debian based Linux system. Hello folks, I'm Abhishek from itsource.com, your favorite source for learning Linux so on Ubuntu desktop, you are regularly prompted by the software of Twitter tool to update your system. Another way to update your Ubuntu system is to use the command line. And that's what I prefer. This is where you will come across this command, sudo apt update. A lot of new users think that this command updates the system. That's not right. Despite the term update in it, the command doesn't install new software updates. So what does it do then? The app package system works on a database of available packages. The sudo apt update command refreshes this local database of available packages. When you run this command, you will see the information being retrieved from various servers. You will see actually three type of lines here, hit, get, and ignore, or IGN. Let me explain them to you. Hit means there is no change in the package version on your system and on the remote repository. IGN, which is ignored, means the package is being ignored. There could be various reasons for that. Either the package is so recent that it doesn't even bother to check for a new version, or there was an error in retrieving the file, but error was so trivial, thus it is being ignored. This is not an error. There's no need to be worried about with the IGN in your apt update command output get there is a new version of the package available apt will download this information not the package itself just the information of the updated version you can see that there is downloaded information on the get lines in the output here when apt update command updates the local database of packages also called cache your system will know that there are new versions of installed software available. In fact, this information is mentioned at the end of the output of apt update command. You can check the list of packages that have newer versions available like this. As you can see, there are nine packages that can be updated or more precisely upgraded to newer versions. So how do you actually install the new updates then? How do you upgrade your system? you use the sudo apt upgrade command. It will show you all the packages that will be installed and ask for your permission to install these updates or as we call it, upgrade these packages. Now you may wonder if sudo apt upgrade install the new software, why do we need sudo apt update? Remember, the apt works on the database of available packages. If you don't update this database, the system won't know there are newer packages available. This is the reason why you will often see the sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade command used together. One command checks if there are any updates available. The other command actually installs those updates. You will also notice two ampersand used between these commands. This is so that these two commands can be run one after another automatically. If there is any error in the first command, thanks to this ampersand, the second command won't run. You will also find some people using minus y at the end of the sudo apt upgrade command. Remember that the sudo apt upgrade command asks for your confirmation before installing the upgrades. You will have to either enter y or press enter key manually. To save some time, you can supply that y together with this sudo apt upgrade command in this fashion. So if you run the command like this, you will see that it doesn't wait for your confirmation anymore and installs the upgrades immediately. I hope that clears up a lot of things for you, especially if you are starting with Ubuntu. Before you go, let me share a cool little command that will free up plenty of this space for you. So this sudo apt auto remove command deletes unnecessary packages that are left after removing packages or after installing some updated software. As you can see, it just freed up a few hundred MBs for me. 
If you want more tips on cleaning your Ubuntu Linux system, you should check this video here. Did this Ubuntu tutorial help you learn something new? Comment yes or no and stay subscribed for more Linux learning. Bye bye.